Hello everyone, my name is Neha and today I will be presenting my project on NLP, uh, Natural Language Processing. As we all know, it helps computers communicate with humans in their own language and scales other language related tasks. For example, it makes computers to read text, hear speech, interpret it and measure sentiments, etc. So let's begin. My project is Bag of Words model for a restaurant review. So I will be creating a bag of words that contains zero for every negative sentence or negative review. For example, can do better or poor efforts, etc. And one for every pass or a positive review. For example, good job, amazing food, etc. And next time, whenever a review is entered or a word is said, it analyzes it and says whether it is a positive one or a negative review. So it works like it categorizes how many times the word amazing is associated with positive result and how many times better is associated with negative result, that is zero. So let's begin. Okay, so I'll begin with importing my libraries, my three important libraries. And then I'll be importing my data set. My data set is restaurant reviews. It's a TSV file. Okay, it consists of, of two columns, that is a review and liked column. The review, each positive review is associated with one and each negative review is associated with zero. So let's begin. The next step is cleaning the text. So we'll be cleaning the text. We'll be removing all the stop words. Stop words include uh, those words that do not help us in predicting sentences. So we do not need to include them. And we will be also perform stemming. So it includes taking only root of the words. So let's see here. This corpus is a list that consists of all the clean reviews. Now we have to create the bag of words model. And the next step is splitting our data set into training set and test set. Now I'll be training my data set on a classification model. Uh, I'll be using SVM model here, that is a support vector machine model uh, to train my training set. Let's see here. Okay. So now I have to predict the test set results. Yes, so here I get the predicted result. Okay, so one column consists of the predicted reviews and this is the column that is the original reviews on which we trained it. Okay, so let's see through confusion matrix, what is the accuracy? Oh, great. So we got an accuracy of 79%. We are having 79 correct predictions of negative reviews, 79 correct predictions of positive reviews, and 18 incorrect predictions of negative reviews, and 24 incorrect predictions of positive reviews. Now, let's begin to predict single review if it's a positive or a negative review. Let's start. So for a positive review, I have taken as I love this place so much. Let's see what it predicts. Okay, it predicts one. That means the review was correctly predicted as positive by a model. And here, the next one is the food is not that good. It is zero here. That means the review was correctly predicted negative by a model. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching.